Hello, everyone. Woo! This is Karen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm Shane. <laughs> Today we're looking at part one of a new year, a better, better you. you. And the vocabulary words are specific. Specific. Tim told Vicky to meet him at a specific place. Strategy. Strategy. During the break, the coach came up with a new strategy. Focus. Focus. I really need to focus on finishing my homework. Completely. Completely. I completely forgot about our date this evening. Oh, how dare you! I'm so sorry. Oh. So are, are you the type of person who makes New Year's resolutions each year? Well, I try to, and mm. then somewhere down the road, and I'll kind of forget about my New Year New Year resolution. Yeah. It's difficult. Sometimes we make a really big list yes. of New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't write it down. Maybe it's just in your head. Mm -hmm. I want to lose weight. I want to make a lot of money. I want to save want, more. Yeah, I want to be the coolest person in the world. I want to be healthier. So mm -hmm. one way to think of this is to just, instead of making a long list, yes. Choose one specific thing you would like to change, mm. right? So let's say I want to have more money, okay. right? And instead of being so vague, I want more money, make it more specific. So maybe you can tell yourself, okay, I'm going to save $500 every single month. Right. So that's specific, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's specific and it's quite doable. You're right. That way you don't become overwhelmed or maybe like you, you said you'll begin doing it and then after a while you just give up because it's too difficult or not specific enough. You are right. So maybe this year I can give that a try. Okay. Right? Good luck with that. I don't know what that is, but you... Be specific. Okay. All right, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. A New Year, a Better You. The start of a new year is a good time to try to break old habits and form new ones. What better time to make a New Year's resolution? But resolutions are much easier to make than to keep, especially for those with weak willpower. That's why it's important to use specific strategies to help you stay in control and make your resolutions stick. Today's lesson is called a new year, a better you. Part one. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. Yes, as we get into the new year, it's time for New Year's resolutions. These promises that people make, these promises that everyone talks about around this time of year. This year I'm going to do this, I'm going to lose that, I'm going to get that, I'm going to go there. You're trying to make a better you in the new year. But how many of us keep these resolutions, these promises to live our life in a new and better way? I think the not answer many. is not many. Not many. No. Pe in the new year, people resolve mm. to be better people, i.e. they make a New Year's resolution. It's like a promise. It's like a promise. Yeah. They're going to try to do something to improve themselves. Anyways, let's learn about some New Year's resolutions. First of all, the start of a new year is a good time to try to break old habits and form new ones, i.e. We're going to resolve to stop doing something bad, and we're going to resolve to start doing something good. We're going to break old habits, form new good habits, okay? We're going to make a resolution. Yeah, exactly. What better time to make a New Year's resolution? It's the new year, new dates on the calendar. You know, it's just after Christmas when people might have been eating a lot. Now they don't have as much money to, so it's a good time yeah. to go to the gym or do things that are a little bit cheaper. But, but resolution, but. here's a big but, but resolutions are much easier to make than to keep, especially for those with weak willpower. And that is a lot of folks out there. Yeah, it's easy to say, I'm going to quit doing this and lose 600 pounds or, you know, whatever. Don't lose 600 pounds. I'm going to lose a bunch of weight. I'm going to learn how to speak Romanian and I'm going to stop eating fast food. I'm going to be great. It's easy to say that. 
but it's hard to do. Romanian is yeah, really hard too. Romanian would be a, a, would be a difficult language yeah. to learn, especially yeah. if you have weak willpower. Yeah. Anyways, that's why it's important to use specific strategies to help you stay in control and make your resolutions stick. Yes, even if you have a weak will, if you do use these specific strategies, maybe, just maybe, your resolution will stick. There you go. What is specific? This adjective means precise, exact. We're not talking about generalities, about sort of, kind of, around about. We're talking about this, not that, not that, but this, and only this. For example, I'll meet you uh, around four. That's not very specific. Is it 350? Is it 410? Is it 430? Give me a specific time. Name the exact time. Be specific or tell me the specific time. Here's another one. Tim told Vicky to meet him at a specific place, not just Taipei Main Station. Taipei Main Station, exit four at the bottom of the stairs. That's specific. That's very specific. That's not general at all. No. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this next vocabulary word. The noun strategy. Hmm. A strategy is like a plan, okay? You're trying to achieve something, so how are you going to do it? You might put your plan together or your strategy together. Now, often when people talk about warfare, okay, generals are the ones who come up with the strategies. They plan what the soldiers are going to do. Now, what the soldiers do, those are very often called tactics, okay? The strategy itself is just the plan. Keep that in mind. For example, during the break, the coach came up with a new strategy. There mm. you go, a new plan. All, All right. right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好,我是Hanny. 同学们有许过新年新希望吗? 要迎接新的一年,大家都会想要试着戒掉一些旧的坏习惯,养成新的好习惯。这时候不下定决心更待何时不过话说回来说的比做的容易尤其是对我们这些意志力薄弱的人来说维持决心是很难的所以我们要用特定的策略来帮助我们坚持到底好先来看两个单字 specific, specific 它是用来形容明确的具体的特定的 那么strategy strategy 它表示策略战略 Trav老师提到在战争的时候都会有军事策略,这时候老师用到warfare,W-A-R-F-A-R-E, warfare表示战争或是交战状态,还有用到tactic, T-A-C-T-I-C, tactic表示策略手法。那常常也会用它的复数形式来表达战略战术。好,那我们再来看补充单字,resolution, resolution表示决心。决定或是决议。New Year's Resolution就可以用来表达新年志愿,新年新希望。好,那它的动词是 Resolve, Resolve表示决心,决定。我们常常会用 Resolve to加上原行动词来表达下定决心要做某事。好,那么Willpower, Willpower则是指意志力。同学们曾经下过决心要学什么外语吗? Mike老师刚刚开玩笑说要学罗马尼亚语 Romanian就是罗马尼亚语 接话课文中 A new year, a better you From getting fit to making more money One's list of goals may be long But trying to achieve too many things at once Is a recipe for failure Therefore, don't spread yourself too thin Make your resolution easier to keep by focusing your energy on just one behavior. Okay, the name of the game today is resolutions. Now, from getting fit to making more money, one's list of goals may be long, but trying to achieve too many things at once is a recipe for failure. So, therefore, don't spread yourself too thin. Absolutely. Short of being bitten by a spider or struck by lightning, it's hard to become a totally new person True. from one day to the next, you know? So kind of focus on things that you can do and don't make a long, long list. Focus on real change, but that change sometimes takes time and a lot of energy. It says make your resolution easier to keep by focusing your energy on just one 
behavior. Pick one thing out of your life that you want to change, and focus your energy on changing that. Don't try to change your whole life. It looks good in the movies, or it <laughs> makes a good story, but it's very hard to do in real life. But focusing on one thing that is much more realistic. What is it to focus? This verb basically means to concentrate, to to put your energy into one area. All right, you're not sort of trying to do all things at once, but a little bit of this and a little bit of that. No, you're putting a hundred percent into one thing. All right, we need to focus when there's something important, and we need to get our mind really con. Concentrated, really looking carefully at one thing and only one thing. For example, I really need to focus on finishing my homework. Sure, my friends are doing something fun. There's a cool new game I got. There's something to watch on the internet. But no, I can't do those things. I gotta focus. Put all my energy and concentration on my homework. One thing and one, one thing, thing only. only. That's what you're going to pay attention to. All right, folks. With that, it's time for a break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. 我们在新的一年想要达成的目标可能很多。那课文提醒我们，如果你想要一次完成太多事情，就会很容易导致失败。所以最后不要让自己分身乏术，把精力只集中在一项行为就好。这样会让你的决心更容易达成。那我们来看单字 focus。Focus， 它当动词可以表达集中、专注。那补充单字 behavior，behavior behavior 这是指行为。好，那文中用到 a recipe for something， 字面上的意思是什么什么的食谱，它是用来表达说造成什么的原因，或是什么什么的秘诀。当我们说 a recipe for failure， 失败的食谱，那就表示很有可能导致失败。好，文中还有用到 spread oneself。Too thin. 它是用来比喻同时想要做太多事而超出负荷，什么都没做好，也就是分身乏术的意思。接华课文中 ，A new year, a better you. Once you've chosen a behavior you'd like to change, it's time to set a goal that's both realistic and specific. For example, rather than telling yourself "I want to get fit," you might say. I want to be able to finish a long-distance race by the end of the year. Instead of swearing off dessert completely, consider allowing yourself only one dessert a week. With realistic and specific goals, you can better plan your course of action and have a greater chance of keeping your resolutions. Everyone, when it comes to making resolutions. Don't spread yourself too thin. Anyways, once you've chosen a behavior you'd like to change, it's time to set a goal that's both realistic and specific. So, first of all, don't don't have a a resolution that ha- requires you to do a million things. You won't be able to do that. You'll be spreading yourself too thin. So, pick something you'd like to change, but then also, okay, make sure. That that goal you're setting for yourself is realistic and specific. Now we talked about what the word specific means. If something is realistic, that means you can actually do it. It makes sense. You're not putting yourself in a position where you can fail because you picked something impossible to achieve. You're going to do something that you can realistically achieve. There you go. It's possible. You can actually do this. Here's some good examples. For example, rather than telling yourself. I want to get fit.、Mm. You might say, "I want to be able to finish a long-distance race by the end of the year." That is a realistic and specific goal. It's something you can try to do, and if you do it, well done. Yeah, saying I'm going to be fit. Well, no, what does that mean? It doesn't mean anything. That's not specific.、Yeah. By the way, also, if you are going to run a long-distance race, be、mm-hmm. realistic. Don't say. I'm going to run a 100-mile race by the end of the year and win. That that might be unrealistic. Maybe set your sights on a 10k or a half marathon or something like that, and just try to do it without stopping to、there、walk you, or something. There you go. Now,、yeah. instead of swearing off dessert completely, no more desserts for me. Consider allowing yourself only one dessert a week. That's there, realistic. There you go. It's realistic, and yeah, it doesn't sound so terrible. Okay, I'm never eating. Eating dessert ever again—that sounds tough. So, 
cut you cut it back a little mm. bit. Just allow yourself one dessert a week, so you're not totally killing yourself with your resolution. Absolutely, oh, no dessert. Can, that would be terrible. If you can go from seven desserts down to one dessert, pretty that's good. pretty awesome. Pretty well good. done. Anyways, let's talk about the adverb completely right now. Completely means totally. It means without an exception. Absolutely, one hundred percent. For example, I completely forgot about our date this evening. Yeah, it slipped my mind. I did not remember it at all. I'm sorry. I waited at the restaurant for you for an hour. Really? No. Good. Okay. I'm glad your back heart's the, not broken. Back Good. to the article. Good. With realistic and specific goals, you can better plan your course of action. And have a greater chance of keeping your resolutions. Yeah, keeping things realistic and specific will make your life easier, and also make it easier to reach those goals to keep your resolutions, and that will give you a great feeling of accomplishment. I did it. Good for me. Well done. Well done, me. All right, folks. With that, today's lesson has come to a close. We'll see you next time. Can I eat a dessert while running a long distance race? You can try. That's my resolution. 刚刚说到要把精力集中在某一个目标，先选一个行为来改变就好。然后选完之后，我们必须设定一个实际可行又明确具体的目标。假设你想要变健康。变健康这个目标太广泛了，也许你可以明确的立下目标，像是我要在年底之前跑完十公里，我要在年底之前跑完半马之类的。还有呢，假设你想要戒掉甜点，叫你完全不吃这太难了啦。也许你可以把目标定为每周只吃一份甜点。那这样一来，当我们完成了这些实际明确的小目标，就会有成就感，然后呢，就会更有机会来维持决心了。Mike 老师刚刚用到 accomplishment 这个字 ，a c c o m p l i s h m e n t accomplishment accomplishment， 它表示成就。那我们可以用 a sense of accomplishment 来表达成就感。那我们最后来看单字 completely completely， 它是副词，表示完全的、彻底的。那补充单字 realistic。Realistic， 它是形容实际可行的或是现实的，在它前面加上否定字首 u n， 就会变成相反词 unrealistic。unrealistic 就是不切实际的。好，那么以上是今天的讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍的文法重点有五个。第一个是 that's why 主词加动词，第二个是 it's important 加不定词，第三个是 be in control 或是 stay in control， 第四个是 instead of， 第五个是 swear off something。我们先来学 that's why 主词加动词。好 ，W H 疑问词像 what、where、why、when、who、how 等等，他们可以用来引导名词子句，在句中当主词、受词或是主词补语用。好，那在 That's why 主词加动词的句型里面，这个 why 主词加动词就是以疑问词 why 引导的名词子句，用来当主词补语。好，那么 that's why 主词加动词就表示说，那就是为什么怎么样怎么样，那就是什么什么的原因。举例来说 ，My mom has cat allergies. That's why we can't have a cat. 我妈妈对猫过敏，那就是为什么我们不能养猫啊，好想要养猫哦。猫。好，接着我们来学 ，It's important 加不定词。It's important. 加上 to， 再加原形动词，就表示什么什么是重要的。那其中的这个 it 是虚主词，用来代替真正的主词，就是后面的那个不定词 to v 的部分。例如 ，It's important to remain calm during an earthquake. 地震来袭时，保持冷静是很重要的哦。好，那这时候例句里面真正的主词是不定词片语 to remain calm during an earthquake， 地震来袭时保持冷静，这整个叫做主词。然后呢，形容词 important 是用来描述这件事是很重要的。接着我们来学 be in control 或者是 stay in control。control 
当名词它有控制、掌控什么意思。那么 be in control 或者是 stay in control 就表示控制住。掌控，那么后面呢可以接 of 加名词来表达控制什么什么，例如 Betty managed to stay in control of her emotions. Betty 设法控制住自己的情绪。你、呃、好，接着我们来学 instead of 片语介系词 instead of 它是指取代或者是而不是什么什么，后面要接名词或动名词。意思就会跟 rather than 一样。例如 ，He played video games instead of studying for the test. 他打电动而不是在念书准备考试。最后，我们来学 swear off something。动词 swear 是指发誓。那么，动词三态是 swear, swore, sworn。好 ，swear off something 就是指说发誓要戒掉什么，决心要舍弃什么。举例来说。Mia tried to swear off social media, but she couldn't do it. Mia 试着要戒除社群媒体，可是她做不到。本来把脸书啊、Instagram 都删掉，然后又忍不住下载回来。可恶，再花手机我就剁手、剁手、剁手。好，算了。<笑>好了，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。嗨，大家好，我是 Steven 老师。那今天呢，我要教你们如何用英文撒架 ，bargain b a r g a i n。好，那首先想先说，其实在美国很少有地方可以 bargain 可以撒架，因为所有地方大部分都已经有 set price， 已经说好的一个价格。但是如果有这个情况，你还是要学如何去撒架。好，那第一个我们要讲的就是你当一个顾客需要用到的英文。好，第一句呢就是 That's still way too much. 好，第二句就是 That's my best price. 第三个呢就是 Can you offer me any discounts today? 第四就是 If you can give me free delivery too, we'll have a deal. Okay. 第五就是 Will you give me a discount if I buy something else? 好，那店员可能会说的一些英文来回应你呢，有这些。第一句是 I'll give you a special price. 第二句呢就是 I'll lose money if the price is that low. How about 啊、uh, 一个价格，比如说 five dollars. 第三 We are having a sale right now. 然后第四 ，I could probably give you twenty percent off. 好，那我们现在一字一字、一句一句来解释一下这些是什么意思。好，第一个呢，我们当顾客会讲的一些英文是 "That's still way too much." 啊，这个实在还是太贵了。那如果我说 "That's too much," 就是太贵的意思。That's way too much. 我也会强调 way 把它拉长，就是这个实在是太贵了。然后为什么会加个 still？ 那个还是太贵，可能已经杀价杀一段时间，你还是觉得没有办法接受，就会试着加适合加 still。That's still way too much. 还是太贵的意思。好，那第二句呢 ？That's my best price. 这个意思就是我今天已经讲那么多的价格了，然后我已经觉得。五十块是我最后要给你的价格，你如果不接受，你是店员，你不接受我的五十块，那我就不买了。你这个时候就很适合说 ，That's my best price, fifty dollars. 五十块，这个已经是我提出最好的要给你的这个钱。That's my best price. 我不能再不能再高了。如果你收我六十块、七十块买这个东西，我就是不要了。OK， 你就开始往前往后走，然后就希望店员会就是跟随着你。好，有的时候这个技巧是有效，有的时候就是没有效。在美国真的很少有杀价的地方，所以应该没有效，没有人会理你。好，第三句呢，是你今天有什么折扣吗 ？Can you offer me any discounts today？ 你今天可以提供任何的折扣给我吗？那 discounts 这个时候跟 sale 有个差别 ，sale 也是折扣。Sale 呢，平常就是这个折扣的活动 ，OK， 它已经有一个 set 好 set 好的一个活动。那 discount 呢，是你可不可以提供我个人一个折扣，就是 discount 跟 sale 的小差别 ，OK， 所以你可以提供提供给我一个任何的一个优惠价吗 ？Can you offer me any discounts today？ 
，第四句，好，你买完了，那买完你也懒得带回家，因为可能这个东西太大了。因为你可以问他说，哎、欸，你如果是有免运费的话，可以给我免费的运费吗？就是 ，If you can give me free delivery too， 如果你可以提供给我免费的呃费运费的话。We'll have a deal. 什么是 we'll have a deal? We will. 我们即将会 have a deal， 就是我们就成交，我就买了的意思。所以很多次我们一起就是已经杀价杀完了，然后说好就是这个价格。我们英文会说 deal， OK？ 然后就握手，这就是成交的意思。好，第五句呢是 Will you give me a discount if I buy something else? 我们又看到 discount 这个折扣这个字了。那如果啊、呃，我再买一个东西，再买另外一个东西，除了我现在已经要买这个东西，如果再买另外一个商品的话，你愿不愿意给我一个折扣？ Will you give me a discount if I buy something else? 好，那如果是店员要回你的话，他可能会说第一个。I'll give you a special price. 我会给你一个特价。平常听到特价的时候，其实这个特价根本都不是特价，这只是心理上就给你一个心服口服的方式，给你一个一个价格。OK， 那 special price 呢？它真正意思就是一个特价，一个特别为你弄的一个价钱。OK， 第二句呢是 I'll lose money if the price is that low. 如果我把价格就是我们现在杀价杀到五十块。啊，你如果再往低一点，我就会亏钱。I'll lose money if the price is that low. 那他这个接下来接下来会问你说，那这个价价价钱呢？如果你说你要五十块啊，这个太低了。How about sixty dollars? 他就是说，那六十块怎么样呢？就是 How about sixty dollars? 就是用这个方式来问，不然这个价格如何？好，第三呢，就是我们刚刚看到我说。Discount 是折扣嘛？那我们看到这一句 ，We are having a sale right now。这个也是折扣，但是平常这是折扣的一个活动，所以我们现在正在折扣，就是我们现在有这个折扣的一个活动的意思。好，第四句呢，就是 I could probably give you twenty percent off， 应该可以帮你打八折。那千万不要像我第一次来台湾的时候搞混了，就是我看到 twenty， 我们美国都是 twenty percent off， 然后看到就是八折。我以前来台湾的时候，我看到八折，我以为它是 eighty percent off 的意思，就是二二折的两两折的意思，其实是相反的，那个逻辑是不一样的。所以如果你看到 twenty percent off， 就是这个东西本来是一百块，那现在你就 twenty percent off， 你就可以用八十块来买它，就是等于中文的八折。所以那个逻辑是有点相反，所以稍微注意一下这一点。OK， 好，那今天呢有教你们如何在美国杀价，希望有帮到你。虽然在美国很难杀价，但是。如果有碰到这个情况，你们就知道怎么用英文去讲了。See you guys next time. Bye bye.